plenty of boats cruise through Mandra's canals, but none quite like John McCall's. His boat isn't powered by a diesel motor, but an electric one. Hello, kids. Mr McCall and his wife Ella are among the earliest adopters of an electric leisure boat in Australia. It's zero emissions, zero noise and uh, no maintenance. As people look for cheaper and more environmentally friendly alternatives, many forms of transport are going electric. And according to suppliers, the rise in fuel price has spiked the interest in electric boats too. People with high power boats, like in the high horsepower range, and actually um, the inquiries, I would say, doubled at least. But the uptake of e-boats in Australia, while growing, remains small. Linnell Johnson manufactures electric outboard motors in Kiama, New South Wales. She says despite Australia being a boat-loving country, most of her sales are to customers overseas. People have range anxiety and cost of battery anxiety. Ms Johnson believes more people would make the switch if there were government incentives and local battery manufacturers, like there is in other countries. Even in New Zealand, they've got a particular fund for marine electrification. On a larger scale, those in the fishing industry believe decarbonisation is important. What we do know is that we have to find a way of um, uh, really running, running these boats without using fossil fuels. Austral Fisheries already owns a hybrid diesel and battery-powered vessel. But for the larger offshore vessels, switching to fully renewable technology is still an issue. The industry hopes green ammonia or hydrogen will provide the solution. With the market moving at such a rapid pace, there's confidence change will come soon. Tyne Logan, ABC News.